happy transformational Tuesday. Good morning. Good morning. So happy that you're with me on this morning. And oh my goodness, we're going to have a great lesson on today. You know, I get a lot of questions about how do I change my mindset? You know, I've been like this forever. I don't know how to change. I don't think I can change. Well, I want you to know you can change. You absolutely can change. And you know, God has a way of doing that. He can help you change your mindset because when you came here, when you were born, your mindset was of God, right? He gave you everything you needed. And when we experience trauma and different things in our life, it changes our identity, who God said we are. And we become very um, unaware unaware of who we are. So on today, I want to share five tips with you on how to align yourself with God's mind, right? How he sees you, what you were intended to be. So number one, seek God's will through prayer and meditation. That is so important that we spend time with God. We have to spend time with God. That one-on-one, -on -one, close the closet, seek him, Listen to him. He speaks to us. If you would listen, he will speak to you. Don't just talk and say, God, I want this. I want this. I want this. No, let him speak to you and he'll tell you the desires he has for you. So number one, pray. Number two, renew your mind with scripture. You know, the word of God says in Romans 12 and two, it encourages believers to be transformed by the renewing of your mind, right? We got to renew our mind. Allow the scriptures to shape your beliefs about who you are. You know, sometimes we'll listen to others about who we are, but we have to listen to what God says about who we are. He made us, right? He made us and he knows all about us. The next thing is walk in the spirit. Oh my goodness, that's huge, walk in the spirit. Sometimes we want to get into the flesh and we want our emotions to take over and we want to have our say, right? <laughs> we want to be like, okay, today is the day. I'm ready today. But you know what? God wants us to be prayerful. He wants us to walk in the spirit. So when you feel like you want to go off, on someone pray and say God help me keep this down because I do not need to go off today on these people so that's the next thing renew your mind and walk in the spirit so we've said pray we say renew your mind with scripture walk in the spirit so we walking in the spirit of God and the next thing is we want to we want to just see ourselves how God sees us right you know, God sees us as beautiful and wonderfully made because he made us, right? He made us and he knows all about us. And the fourth thing is practice gratitude and contentment. Oh my goodness, this is huge. You know, a lot of us struggle with, oh, I want to have this. I want to be that. And God says he wants us to be thankful in whatever state we're in. We are to be thankful, right? So practice gratitude and contentment, you know, cultivate an attitude that recognizes God's blessings. You know, God is so good. God is so good. Think about all the blessings that he has, you know, given to you and your family. And when we think about God's blessings, we can't help but just say, God, I thank you. God, I thank you for being such a good God. So when we do that, our mindset shifts because we go from a, a attitude of, you know, not enough to saying more than enough. You know, if he doesn't do anything else, he's done enough. And so when we stay in that mindset of gratitude, appreciation, I'm content in whatever state that I'm in, God, I thank you because I'm here because this is where you want me for the moment. And so that's the place I'm going to say, Lord, I thank you. 
So that's that's another uh, way of shifting our mindset, right? We want to shift our mindset to be everything that God wants us to be, right? And the fourth, the fifth thing is serve others and humility with love. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. That's another amazing point. You know, serving others, when you get to the place where God uses you to be a blessing to someone else, you don't have time to wonder about yourself. When you are out and about and you're helping people who are less fortunate than you, then you see that, oh my goodness, God, I thank you, God, for allowing me to be a vessel, to be used by you, to help others who are not as fortunate as I am. And so once we get our mind on other things other than ourselves, you know, then your mindset starts to change you know you don't think about material things you're thinking about godly things you're thinking about you know how are you loving people how are you taking care of the poor how are you you know whatever you do that's your mission and your goal you're not thinking about you know what i'm going to eat tomorrow what i'm going to wear tomorrow what you know if i'm going to have a roof over my head you're just concerned about the will of God. And so those are the five tips I have for you on Transformational Tuesday. Number one is to pray. Give God some praise, you know, give him praise every day. So we're going to pray. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to walk in the spirit. We're going to renew our mind with scripture right? We're going to renew our mind with scripture, walk in the spirit. We're also going to um, embrace growth and mindset, right? We're going to embrace it. We're going to praise God for it. And there are so many things we can say about shifting the mindset. And so I want to invite you to my life coaching. And so if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, a discovery call, just send me a DM or just reach out to me and I will be so excited to speak with you. You know, um, God has done an amazing work in my life. And I would like to share some tips and, you know, if how to grow and how to have your mind shifted, right? And realize the identity, who you really are in Jesus Christ. So thank you so much and God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we will see you tomorrow morning. God bless you.